This next question comes from Kristen. And Kristen says, how much cash flow do you recommend before I start hiring other copywriters to build a copywriting agency? And what's the best way to increase my prices to switch to an agency model? Background is I'm a copywriter for online coaches and entrepreneurs who want to launch new digital info products or services and want to generate more cash with high converting copy in their funnel. I'm asking this question because I'm thinking of heading in the agency model direction and would love to grow a team to work on bigger launch projects and collaborate with designers and other creatives. Well, the answer to your question is um, there is no specific answer on how much cash flow you need. You know, when I was building out my company, I basically just said, how much money do I need to survive? Literally just to survive, to pay my bills, to, to eat, uh, and what is the absolute minimum I needed? The rest of the money that came in, I put into my business. As soon as possible, I hired an independent contractor sales rep. So the answer for you is, is whatever amount of money is left over in your business from the business you're already doing, use that to start hiring people or to start advertising and bringing in more clients. Um, so that, that's where the successful balance is going to happen. <clears throat> so Hope that answers your question on the cash flow side. One of the things you'll want to look at as far as your pricing is concerned is what will the market demand? You know, it's a, there's, a, there's a really odd thing that happens. When we first start out and nobody knows of us, we start selling and we price it at, you know, whatever we can get possibly if we're in a service-based business because we're just starting out. Then what happens is we start to become in demand and our time gets so uh, minimal uh, of availability. And what happens is then we start raising our prices and magically people start paying it because they see that we're in demand. When someone thinks that you are really busy, when someone thinks that you are really amazing at what you do, magically they just start paying whatever you charge within reason, right? And you're okay letting some clients, go, you know, potential clients go if they're not willing to pay that, that higher level of price that you're going to charge. There's an air of confidence that comes when you are so busy that you don't need another client. You want another client and you can fit another client, but you don't need it. And prospects can, can sense that air of desperation that a lot of startups um, and freelancers have and that they'll, they want business and they need business. They, can, they, they have this weird sixth sense when, of air of desperation. I would say charge the highest amount you can charge as soon as possible. And the market's gonna tell you whether or not they'll pay for it. But be willing in your sales pitch and in the overcoming objections to be able to negotiate. That's the great thing about a service business is you can negotiate. And then at some point when you become you know, a company, a company is just gonna set prices and say, this is what we charge. Uh, I think it's a great idea to get started on the agency model as soon as possible. But here's the thing, Kristen, and you didn't talk about this at all. You're just talking about cash flow and charging more. If you're going to start building an agency model where your time and attention now needs to start moving towards is learning how to be a better leader. It's one thing to know how to take care of your own schedule and manage your own projects and do your own thing because you're only in control of yourself. When you start managing and leading a team of other people, there are a lot of nuances to start learning about leadership, motivating people, getting people on the same page. Uh, dealing with all the personality differences. This is the number one problem that you and I and every other entrepreneur face in our business, leading and managing other people. That's where a lot of time and energy should be put. All right, hope that helps. Have a great day.